Hello everyone, a little bit different this week. I'm looking at flowers. Um, flowers are massively important in my in my world. I used to grow flowers, I was a florist, um, I did weddings and I just loved it. It was a very busy time of my life, very exhausting but just lovely. I don't work that hard these days but I do still use flowers in a lot of my projects and I grow flowers, I grow flowers in the polytunnel and I grow flowers out and I gather flowers um, sensitively as well um, when I'm out on my walks. So flowers are a really really important part of my world and they're an important part of my creativity so I thought I would just do a kind of a meandering video kind of showing you kind of the kind of projects that I do so I might make for example botanical inks with some chamomile see the chamomile's just coming through very excited about that or hawthorn or daffodil or even um, some of my herbs like my sorrel root I like I like that and my meadow sweet root so um, I might make botanical inks I might I'm probably more likely to make botanical inks these days than I am to dye fabric but I still do do a bit of dyeing um, and you'll see some of that as well I'm very inspired by the structures of flowers and more broadly plants and um, seed heads is one of my favourite things to draw. So you'll see some of that in my art journaling um, and in my sketchbook, obviously. And that leads into bigger pieces, which might be um, uh, an artist book or a piece for an exhibition. Um, so, so you'll see flowers popping up. I, I also get a bit obsessed with printing them. So I, I print them, I press them, I dry them poor loves um but they they're all over the house that they're not just in my studio they're not just in my kitchen you can see the jars behind me that's just a small collection of what i've got um, but i do use them all um i love to make potpourri i love to give potpourri i love to make little crafts actually little crafts with flowers are joyful getting your pressed flowers out and making little crafts and I pop them in my Etsy shop and it's just lovely to think the things that I've grown and pressed and I do it slowly, the traditional way with flower presses, not, not with a microwave. And these things take time and it's just lovely to think that they end up in other people's homes and I hope that they're treasured. So um, you'll see a lot, you'll see a lot of different things that I do and I hope that maybe it will spark something and you might connect with something and think, oh, I'd like to do that. And I think often you, you do press and you do dry and then you wonder what you're going to do with them. So um, I hope this is helpful. Take care, everyone.